Let me tell a little bit about the graphene on silicon carbide. We have been growing silicon carbide since quite many years. I started in the 1990s with the growth of silicon carbide. And silicon carbide consists of silicon and carbon atoms, which you build together into a crystal, so silicon carbide. And when we failed ultimately with our growth, we always had a graphitization of the surface. That means a small, thin layer of graphite on the surface of silicon carbide. So that was not very good for the growth of silicon carbide, but that's the basic thing of the process for the graphene on silicon carbide. Because when we made these things in the 1990s, and then when we made this thin graphitic layer thinner, then we actually had one layer of carbon on top of silicon carbide. So year 2000, 2001, we were studying the thin graphitic layers on silicon carbide, and then we made it thinner, thinner. And 2005, we had the first layer of carbon on the silicon carbide. We did not know so much about graphene at that time, but it was a natural development for our process in the growth of silicon carbide. And then we continued to explore this in projects, and then the graphene flagship emerged, and other projects which made this graphene research to go to the market and all those activities to a very big thing. But in our case, it was a natural process from the beginning due to the silicon carbide, its growth habits, and when we failed with the growth, it was a natural part of the process for the graphitic layers on silicon carbide and then the graphene on silicon carbide. So we have been doing this now quite many years.